Okay, I've actually been busy masking everything up for paint and that's going to be in the next video. Still need to go over these with some form of pre-paint like acetone just to get any grease off or last little remnants of dirt in some of the nooks and crannies. But the next video should be pretty much me completely painting all the engine cases and uh, starting on all the side covers just giving these a bit of a wipe over with acetone and I just want to experiment a little bit with the design pattern on these cases because I'm intending to do all of the uh, rockers and state this stator cover and the uh, clutch cover sprocket cover etc they're aluminium but uh, I want to add a little splash of colour so I'm not going to be painting up and polishing the fins or anything like that so that it's all blackened aluminium fins I know that's quite popular I'm just having a little practice with this brush what I might need to do is let it dry and then go over the surface with acetone because it's kind of going over the edges a teeny bit. Now this is not VHT paint but side covers do not get that hot. If they get warm you wouldn't want to hold your hand on them for too long but they're not like they're not like sort of exhaust headers and cylinder heads you're not going to get to a couple of hundred degrees. It's already making a bit of a mess, so uh, we'll see if we can just keep going, keep a steady hand. But I might need to pick a different brush. This is just an experiment at this stage. These are little um, touch up brushes, actually, so they're just generic. Halfords paints. I dare say they've got codes on them for automotive purposes, but I've just picked the closest reds, whites, and blues to the Honda Racing colours, anyway. I'm sure this is going to plan. <laughs> Need a tinier brush, I think, and I don't have an artist brush smaller than this, so I'm using the one that it came with. I might just need to completely clean it off and then uh, start again. We'll see. It's looking a little bit like a toddler with a paintbrush at the moment, so apologies. Hmm. God. Okay. What I might need to do is let it completely dry and then. Um, and then go over the surface with a sanding disc because that shouldn't get into the uh, recesses where the paint is and that should leave it how we want it so I'm going to come back to this in about an hour and see what we're left with Right, that has been drying now for about two hours out in the sun and you can see I have gone all over the edges so what I'm going to do is use a bit of thousand grit sandpaper and block and I'm just going to see if I can take that surface paint off 
and leave everything that is in the embossed area in place and hopefully it will look fine at the end of it. That's not how I intended to do it. I just went over the edges. Anyway, let's get on with it. bit of acetone to get rid of some of the uh, might have taken the paint back with it <laughs> okay right found an artist brush in my uh, drawers and I think the brush is slightly bigger but it's thinner and it's stiffer so let's see if we can get some more paint in there where well, I've taken some out and I think we'll be able to make this look okay the good thing is now I'll go right up to the edges it shouldn't be too tricky just to infill it again so not tricky just fiddly sanded over it it was absolutely fine and uh, probably just needed touching up the acetone sort of got in and took paint back out so okay round two then hmm <laughs> We're just going to have to uh, let this dry and go over it with the sander again, I think. No point trying to be fiddly with it now because I've already got it all over the edges, so... with uh, something a little bit less likely to go dissolving all the paint again. Once I've let this dry and uh, taken all the surface paint off. this brush is also still just a tiny bit too big uh, uh, it's an artist brush but you know you still get smaller ones I could do with a smaller one and I don't think I'd have a problem yeah it's like I'm being really delicate now and there's no point because it's just going everywhere anyway Oh, 
Okay. Right, I'm going to speed this up a tiny bit. 1000 grit sandpaper on my right angle die grinder air gun and um, it's actually sat on a sponge so it's got a lot better control so it shouldn't cut in, you can't put too much pressure on it. So um, I think I know what I'm going to do but let's clean this up first. Okay, full disclosure, I just stepped the grit up to 120. I thought in for a penny, in for a pound. Didn't take any material off at all, but it did clean the surface up, which is what I needed it to do, uh, because the uh, 1000 grit wasn't really doing anything, to be perfectly honest, so uh, that is exactly what I wanted. Anyway, so, as I said, this is just an experiment at this stage. Um, it's not going to go perfectly, and I'll probably need to uh, sort of go over it again, clean up the edges, that kind of thing. I know a lot of people do like to. Um, sort of leave these fins bare aluminium, polish them up, but um, I'm not a massive fan of that. So that's not looking straight, I will have to straighten it up, obviously. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I think that's going to be quite nice. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and I will see you <coughs> next time.